Today we're here in Marina Bay Sands to speak to Robert and Phoebe Lee, the siblings of the legendary Bruce Lee. Let's see what they have to say about their brother. This is hard really to forget. I drowned him. You I try to not, not drown him, but you know, Bruce never knew how to swim. You know? Okay, okay. So, so they went to, yeah, she, she would push push him underwater. and. <laughs> no, because... Uh, Just playing, you know, not uh, really drowning. Yeah, Bruce <laughs> like teasing people, yeah, teasing. And he teased me all the time. And then I want to arrange it when we go to clear water bay. Yeah. And I said, the, the water is very shallow. Shallow, it's not too deep. I said, you come, you come, you come, you come. You come. And you come also with a lamb. I'll I'll drive it, yeah. Yes, I'll chauffeur. And then I pull. I I I I could swim. My sister, you know, Peter, and and I, I pull him under, under the water. He was drinking a lot of water. He just beat me up, chasing me. My mother said, "No, don't be, don't bully your sister." <laughs> Until now, I still remember. He, he was a very. How old was he? I think it's uh, 12 years old. No, he never no. did learn how to swim. No. no. Never, right? No. no. So he was mother, here. I remember mother taught him in a Lai Chi club. Uh, in in another in a amusement park swimming pool. Swimming yes. pool. Yeah. But because uh, she don't like uh, water. Right. Yeah. And he, even though she don't, she don't know how to ride bicycle. Mm. <laughs> ride bicycle? He doesn't. No. He doesn't know. Yeah. Wow, yeah. He, he, he fell down two, three times, he don't want it. Yeah, that's Bruce, you know, like he knew, he knew his limitations. He, he knew you know, what he could do, what, you know, what he should do, and what not to do. He's a very entertaining guy, you know, like, <laughs> he just loves to, you know, uh, practice with people, like to show people what he could do and stuff like that, you know. Bruce liked to teach me dancing. Oh, yes. okay. uh, It's a cha-cha. Cha-cha. Okay. You know, before, he liked to teach me uh, Wing Chun. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Wing Chun. He, he hit me all the time and then I get loose. He is very heavy. He grabbed you. Oh, yeah. That, that's the, the, have a bruise right away. That's why I don't, I don't want it. Yeah. And then he liked to teach people. Yeah. And he said, ask me, do you want, do you want to learn a, a cha-cha? Of course you will. And he's, he liked to be a teacher. You know? yeah. He teach me, teach him, and teach me, my sister. And, and Oh no, he wouldn't beat me up, but he would use me as as a practicing. Uh, <laughs> I hate to use the word dummy, which I was, you know, because I mean I'm not a martial artist, so you know he would use me to try to uh, develop new techniques, you know, and, and and stuff like that. I remember back in 1969 when I came, I went over to the United States to Los Angeles to stay with him. He just finished the Green Hornet. I was watching TV, so Bruce went to the kitchen, took out a kitchen knife, a big one. He came to me. He said, "Take it." I said, okay. He said, stab me. I said, for fun, right? He said, no, no, no. Come, really stab me, for real. I said, how can I stab you? You're my brother. You know, and I have, you know. So he said, don't worry. You can't even touch me. And before I could even move, you know, the, the knife was knocked out of my hand. He loves to play pranks all the time. He was showing me, you know, what he was doing, you know, what kind of martial, martial arts. He was showing me different things and that. And so, then he took out a pair of nunchakus. And he was demonstrating, you know, like real fast, just like the movies, you know. He said, well, how do you like that? I said, wow, you know, what is that? He said, those are nunchakus, so explain. So, and then he put it back, you know, to where, where it came from. So, then uh, she turned around and said, okay, let's go out there and have some, uh, some tea. So I turned around without, you know, looking or paying any notice. Then all of a sudden, he, he called out my name. He said, Robert. I turned around and Boom! There was this nunchuck right in my face, on my head. I thought I was going to die, but no. He was using a pair of foam. <laughs> nunchuck who scared the heck out of me. I, I will never forget that. <laughs> uh, I bring him to uh, uh, Lee, uh, Lee Hing Wong Sifu, and also Liang Jin Pang. And then he want, he want to, uh, he asked him, uh, Master Lee said, uh, "Can I be your student?" Master Lee said, "I don't, I don't take you to my today, and because uh, one is the same level with, uh, with Master Lee, and he, well, you can come to learn it, and then I bring you to continue two weeks, 
Yeah. Mm. And after that, he learned it. He two weeks after two weeks, he don't come anymore. A few months, a few months later, he go back to, to Master Li. He play as good as you people uh, uh, play ten years. Now how good he, he was. He's very inventive, creative. Like in the nunchaku, you know, like in the movies, you know, that Bruce used that, that weapon. It was taught to him by uh, Sifu Dan, you know, Dan Inosanto, he's one of his students, you know. He showed Bruce how to do the nunchakus, the basic, you know, techniques and so forth. And Bruce at the end said, okay, uh, may I borrow your nunchakus, you know, until our next session, which is like next, next, uh, the following week, because Bruce would teach him, you know, once a week. So one week later, then this actually was told to me by uh, Dan Inosanto. He said Bruce worked out some brand new techniques that he never even thought of or seen. And it was so much better than the original, you know, classical mm. techniques. So that's yeah. Bruce. A lot of people say he's cocky, you know. But Bruce is just trying to be straight with people. He, when he tells people, you know, I can do a lot of things and I can really be, beat you up. You know, I can easily beat you, you know. And he means the truth. I mean, it's not because he's boasting or anything. And Bruce always say one thing, you know, he said, you try to learn how to swim. You cannot do it on ground. I mean, like uh, on, on a flat ground and no water. You have to be inside, you know, to really test your skills in the water. So that's Bruce. I mean, he always talks straight. And the way he talks, you know, like, it's that special, you know, like the way he does it, you know, people, have a you know false sense that you know he's being cocky, but that's how he speaks. That's how he is. That's his personality. You know.